bakery with two floors of occupied apartments above K. Head four, Wayne. Head 75 transmitted for box 3205, 1729 Unionport Road. Man has the Mars Park Avenue uh, fire in a bakery. 1075 transmitted for box 3, 3205, 1729 Unionport Road, Van Ness Avenue near Mars Park Avenue. Fire the bakery, the first uh, Medical Branch Resources are responding, King. Okay. Head 4, I'll get the size up in the uh, surrounding property. Alright, head 4. Orleans Motor Work, box 3205, 1729 Unionport Road, Van Ness Avenue near Mars Park Avenue. Fire the bakery, the first floor. Orange going to work, box 3205, 1729, Unionport Road, Van S. Avenue, Morris Park Avenue, fire the bakery the first floor. Uh, 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 BC Fast reports that we have one line stretched in operation, a second one uh, being uh, stretched as a precautionary line. One's a street, two's a two-story frame, occupied, three's a rear yard, and four is a three-story brick under construction, K. Fire is remaining doubtful. All right, 10 foot jack. Uh, All right, guys, this is the 1075 all hands fire. All right, 10 foot, you need the special unit to continue. In a bakery. Uh, 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 heavy uh, wind uh, conditions. Uh, it appears that they got it knocked down very quickly. Let me just go around, check it out. No smoke, no flames, probably a small fire. small fire in the bakery apparently in the oven area with a flight extension probably for the second floor uh, not a lot of extension they didn't break any of the windows and they're putting water on it right now i'm in the rear on a setback from the bakery there's a bunch of vents on the roof of the uh of the bakery very light smoke conditions nothing going on back here all right step forward back Yeah, that ductwork we talked about earlier. Still no condition there, right? Everything's uh, the same. Uh, Test work chief, nothing going on. Ductwork in the rear. Ductwork. All right, you see it for yourselves. <sighs> Looks like they got two lines stretched. Uh, one in operation, the other one looks like it's standing by, so I can't make it out. Maybe they used it, maybe they didn't. We've been bouncing around, it's been very windy but nothing major uh, has happened with the wind. Scaffolding here and there, garbage cans, stuff like that.
smell a little bit of it, but it doesn't look like there was anything major in the front here. Probably uh, something left burning in the oven with extension. Uh, like you know they keep finding pockets of fire so they're chasing fire in the building in the walls they open up they find the fire they put water on it and then they found another spot so that's like the second or third spot they want this open up here to see if uh if they could access anything from this building. That's the rescue. The other line went up to the second floor, so they're putting uh, water on it. Water on the left. Sorry, what are you taking? Four or five shots? Four or five shots. Hey, Sean, you want a hydrant by your uh, last stop? Alright, we already have two lines off of 90. I'll send them to squad 41 by you guys. Trust you got to stretch up their line to the top floor. That's why I'm on my way. Rack is on Union Port and Morse Park. Alright, that's right. They're checking for our extension. They asked for more units. I believe he asked for another truck. 
This guy going with that cardboard. They're opening up and they continue looking for pockets of fire. Command to the fire sector. Fire sector. Depending on the exposure force side, uh, there's no extension. It's only a brick facade, but it's also a wood frame there behind it, but we're good on that force side. All right, step one. There's nothing on the third floor, so fire sector. Fire sector. Yeah, fire sector. All right. Looks like they evacuated that building over there just in case everybody's leaving. Sorry, what are you They called, uh, special called uh, another truck. Uh, they're gonna be relieving one of the trucks that's working in there. Uh, so far they got it contained. It's been raining like crazy. All right, I'm gonna go poke around. Alright, 44 truck just got here. They're gonna. Battalion 1A to a lot of 4 1. Hold on. Lot of 4 1. Alright, Steve, uh, 44 trucks on their way in to relieve you and uh, do the secondary to the first floor. Alright, 10 4 Chief, thank you. You can advise them, they're gonna need some 10 foot hooks as well. Anyway, 44 came in to relieve 41. Um, and they're requesting 10 foot hooks because I forgot to throw in, they had 10 ceilings uh, in the bakery. So uh, this is a very old building. Who knows how old it is? Uh, and that's how they, how and why they keep finding little pockets of fire here and there. When it's 10 ceilings, it tends to do that. So, but nothing, Major has happened. They're continuing to open up and work in there. Engine 9 off. Engine 9 off. No call. You guys need to leave. You could have uh, squad move up the line. We're good for now, Chief. We'll let you know a little bit. One well, engine. Let me go on the other side again. There's not too much, too many angles and not a whole hell of a lot to see because uh, what I said, they're continuing to open up in there and it looks like the oven's probably in the back side of the uh, bakery. So yeah. There goes the 10 foot hooks. More 10 foot hooks.
our rescue three guys are taking off. And just for FYI, the wind probably will hold. And like I said before, the rescue took up and they released the squad. So rescue squad have been released. They're winding down operations. They brought down the tower ladder. And things are looking good. All right, just want to show you guys how far they stretched. The engine is way down there. They stretched all the way over here. Uh, both lines so they have two lines stretched two lines in operation I'm not sure why they stretched all the way over there Maybe some of the hydrants were blocked or they don't have any hydrants here uh, let me look around yeah no hydrants or nothing over there and uh, also this van has bread and stuff in it so it looks like it belonged to the bakery somebody might have been baking in there and something got screwed up or whatever but at least this bread got saved they're gonna deliver that even more interesting this building has bread in it too so this is a big operation with the uh, bakery there uh, let me see if I can take a peek. Yeah, there's something, some baking going on in there too. So that adds another dimension to the bread and this and that. The FDNY is in there investigating already. The police are in there. So who knows what that all has to do with that. But there's the van, there's the, the baking stuff and... Alright, There's the bakery and there's the building. Uh, we're gonna head back to uh, our spot and see if anything else pops up. But um, like I said earlier, there was a couple of wind situations, nothing major. The wind died down. Uh, We're just gonna go hang out or whatever. They just called the chief and said they found a, a sizable amount of smoke pushing on the second floor again, so... Hold on. They asked for another another truck for overhauling in the ceiling. Like I said, those tin ceilings have a tendency to hide little pockets of fire. There's smoke pushing again on the second floor. The police are doing an investigation here with this guy and the other building over there. And there goes the other guy with the cardboard boxes and the bread. 
They continue to work in there. I got a clear view inside. They're pulling down some of the tin ceilings. Okay guys, I want to give you a quick heads up on this. Uh, they're still opening up, they're still searching, they're still wetting down. They called for an additional truck to relieve the fast truck. Uh, they continue hitting and finding little hot spots in the tin ceilings. Uh, so uh, we're gonna monitor it a little bit longer. And then, uh, Take off. All right. One chief is coming out to give a report. Chief Raffinelli.
giving a big explanation of what's going on in there. He said that he has 17 trucks, so he's probably going to call in for another truck for them to come in. And then there's an additional truck coming to be uh, the new fast truck. So um, we're gonna wait a little bit longer and then uh, I'm gonna take off. Alright, Charlie, so here's the story. Uh, it's been coming to the hole for a little while. Tom's got told me those couple of slips up there in the panel, we have the interaction. It's actually the summer leader was burning and all the fucking stuff on the bright is burning around there. They're going to keep everybody here and they're going to continue to work. There's semolina burning in there. That's that little yellow powder type that they use for baking, semolina, uh, burning in a few areas. So uh, they're going to continue to work. It's probably going to send a 17 truck in. Uh, hopefully it doesn't go into anything bigger than what it is right now. Alright guys, uh, conditions remain the same. They're working this out. Uh, they're opening up, but it's starting to pour. starting to rain heavy again so we're gonna take out um, heavy rain heavy rain guys we're gonna run we'll see you guys later to to see you all on the other side oh crap all right if this gets worse again, we'll come back. We're gonna go sit in the car. Oh my God! Bye. Two and two. See you on the other side.